In this video, we'll set up a basic quest. We'll use Unity's standard 2D character controller, but the same process applies to 3D and other controllers. In this quest, the quest giver NPC will ask the player to fetch his children. There's overlap between this video and the interaction tutorial. For more detailed instructions on interaction, see that video. The first step is to import Unity's standard 2D assets. Then, in a new scene, add the Platform 36x1 prefab. Set its position to negative 20, 0, 0. Then add the Character Robot Boy prefab and set its position to 0, 2, 0. Add a sprite and name it Parent. Set its position to 410 and assign the gray box texture. Also add a box collider 2D. Add a similar sprite. We're going to call this one Baby 1. setting the position to negative 4, 1, 0, and scale to 0 0.5. Then do the same for another sprite and call this one Baby 2. Set its position to negative 5.5. Now we'll add the dialog system components. Add the Dialog Manager prefab and create a database. On the Variables tab, we're going to create a variable to record how many baby boxes the player has picked up. Add a number variable and name it Babies Saved. On the Quests tab, add a new quest. Name it Get Babies. Click on the quest to edit it. Tick Use Display Name and set the display name to My Babies. Tick Trackable and Track on Start to make it show up in the HUD and tick has entries to allow us to add quest entries. Then set the description. Finally, add a quest entry. This quest entry uses a var markup tag. This tag will be replaced by the value of the baby saved variable at runtime. Next, add a conversation. Call it Save My Babies. We'll set up the text first. The first branch will be used when the player has not yet accepted the quest. The second branch is when the quest has been accepted. The player may return before he's picked up the babies or after, so we handle both cases. 
And the last branch is if the player talks to the NPC after the quest has been successfully completed. Next, we need to add conditional logic so the conversation knows which branch to take. In the first branch, click the dot 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 next to conditions and set the condition that the quest is unassigned. When the player agrees to do the quest, set the quest state to active. On the next branch, require that the quest is active in order to follow this branch. The player can respond two ways. If he hasn't picked up both babies yet, he'll get the first response. But if baby saved is two or more, then he'll get the second response. And the quest will be set successful. And the third branch is shown if the player has already successfully completed the quest. Next, we'll set up the player for interaction. Add a Box Collider 2D, and we're going to set this up as a trigger. Then add a Proximity Selector. We'll map the Use key to E. On the parent, add a usable component and a dialogue system trigger. Configure this trigger to start a conversation. Select Save My Babies. Then select Baby 1. Set the box collider to Is Trigger and add a dialog system trigger. Set it to on trigger enter and click add player tag. Then configure it to deactivate this game object. First we'll set the condition so that it only works if get babies is active. Next, we'll add an increment on destroy component. We'll set the dropdown to disable, which is what happens when the game object is deactivated, and set it to increment baby saved. We'll do the same for Baby 2. You can use Increment on Destroy for kill quests as well as fetch quests like this.
And now we'll play the scene and talk to our NPC. We'll accept the quest. And I can see that I forgot to set the quest entry to active, so we're not getting the entry text. Inspect the quest and set the entry one state to active. Now play the scene again. Accept the quest. We have our counter. We pick up the babies. And we talk again. And there we go.